All right, everyone, in this video, we'll be going over a super simple way to resize your images for web using the crop tool. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look here. Uh, so notice here on the left hand side, we're going to select our crop tool. Okay, and you'll likely see that your drop down menu at the top of your options bar is labeled ratio. You may see something else that's absolutely fine. Go ahead and click on that, and we're going to select width times height times resolution. Okay, very important that this is selected because it allows you to enter in the resolution which is the pixels per inch or the DPI for that image. And that's a big part of resizing and saving for web. You don't want that file to be too large or it might appear kind of blurry and crunched when you upload online. So let's go ahead and start over here with our pixels per inch. Notice how that's uh, labeled in our little drop down box. If you don't see it, you may have pixels uh, per centimeter and you can go ahead and click on it and switch that to pixels per inch. Okay, so ideally if you're posting to social media or just online in general, you'll want to have uh, 72 pixels per inch is the standard. Uh, I personally like to save my images if posting to my website. I like to save them a little bit larger, so I'll set the uh, pixels per inch at around 150. Keep in mind 300 is our full resolution, so you definitely want to lower that quite a bit when posting to uh, web. Okay, so let's move over to our width times height ratio. To keep that image ratio, you'll want the longest end to be a pixel size of 2048. Okay, so since I'm working with a vertical image, my longest edge is the height. So I'm uh, putting 2048 over here uh, on the height option. Now, if this was a horizontal image, my longest side would be uh, on the width, which is our first option here. That makes sense. And I would put 2048 on my um, width option. So remember width, height, and then your uh, resolution at the end here. Okay, so again, keeping proportions, my shortest side is going to be 1365. Now, if I had wanted to actually crop my image a bit, uh, maybe crop it inwards, I can definitely do that while still lowering the resolution and saving for web. Let's say I had wanted a complete square um, crop, so I could do a pixel size on my width of 2048 as well, and notice how I now have a square crop. Everything that's really dark and grayed out on the top and bottom here will be cropped out once I'm done. And I can also, of course, click and drag my image to bring the crop where I want it to be. Okay, but for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and keep the original proportions, and we'll enter 1365 here. And once you're all done, you can go ahead and press enter or return. And there we go. So super quick resize. At this point, you can go to file and save as and save your file for web. And one last thing, once you're done saving your image for web using the crop tool, wouldn't it be neat to be able to use that technique over and over again and really save time when resizing your image for web. Well, you can do that and actually save this as a preset in your crop tool. So we're gonna click on our drop down box again here, scroll down to new crop preset, and you can simply rename this. I'm just going to rename mine uh, resize for web and press okay. So next time I have an image that I want to resize for web, I can simply go up here, click resize for web in my new preset. Again, you'll want to select your crop tool first and I'll be ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and click on our zoom tool and just click fit screen. The proportions that we had just went over in the crop tool are pretty standard for posting online and being able to keep that nice and clean, crisp appearance. Okay, so we're all done for today and I hope you guys really enjoyed and took away some new information on our crop resizing for web tutorial.